Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Genmo.ai platform. Please watch this tutorial to the end to properly understand it. Genmo.ai is a platform that allows users to create videos from text or updated images. It uses a combination of natural language processing and machine learning. Genmo creates visually stunning and engaging videos. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you or give you a brief rundown of how Genmo works. Simply go to your browser and type in genmo.ai and it should bring you to a screen just like this. And now you would see Meet Genmo, your new creative co-pilot. Genmo can help you create images, videos, and 3D models. And it says that a human and a generative model work together. So it's more like a collaborative approach. So let's scroll down. If you look down, you will see some of the images that you can create with Genmo. Okay, so it says introducing Genmo chats. Let's go further down and see how to use Genmo chats. Number one, you can create 3D assets. So Genmo generates 3D meshes and 363, 360 degree videos with Genmo, right? So you can ask for an object like an ice cream sundae or upload a photo and turn it into 3D. You can upload an image and animate part of it. Okay, so Gemmo can animate existing images. The user uploads a starry night and asks Gemmo to animate the sky into a time lapse, right? So the next thing you can do with Gemmo is to generate and edit movies. Gemmo can generate and edit movies from scratch. The user asks Gemmo to create a movie with a title. The model will help create ideas which the human can critique. Okay, then the next thing you can do is write a script and then generate a trailer. So like the previous example, Genmo can generate and edit movies from scratch. The user asks to generate a movie called Godfather, The Lunar Family, and Genmo will help the user refine the ideas into a proposed script. Genmo generates a variety of scenes and transitions. Okay, and then you can edit and create photos with words replace content, change image styles with natural language, all right? And then you can design a presentation with app icons. Genmo can generate app icons as well. Okay, right, so let's, let's dive further down into the tutorial. Let's look at the pricing. If you look at the pricing for Genmo, you will see that there are two plans. We have the free plan and we have the turbo mode, which is the premium plan. For the free plan, you have 100 daily fuel, watermark on creations, CC, BYNC, 4.0 license, okay? So with the free plan, you have only 100 daily fuel. I will talk about fuel shortly. You have watermark on creations. And then for the premium plan, you have 1,000 daily fuel, access to general chat, watermark free generation, and priority access to new models. All right, so let's log in quickly and see how to use Genmo. So simply tap on login, and then you'll be asked to sign in using Google or using Discord. I'm going to sign in using Google just by tapping on sign in with Google. And then I'm going to select one of my accounts to sign in with. Okay, so you can see that I have been signed in and it says I'm on the wait list. All right, so I'm going to tap on create and it will bring me to this platform where I can then create my animations or my videos. Now, step one says create the first frame of your video. But before we do that, I would like you to look at the top right-hand corner here and you will see foil. And I am seeing 200, okay, that means the free plan currently gives 200 fuel, okay? So instead of the 100 that we saw in the pricing plan, I'm seeing 200 here. But this is where the fuel comes in handy because this, these are like connects or points that you use to create your 
animations, okay? So you keep watching them while you're creating because when you make use of all of your fill, you won't be able to do anything else, especially if you are on the free plan. Okay, so step one, create the first frame of your video. There are two ways of creating the video. Number one, you can create, and number two, you can upload. So I'm just going to type in something here. I'm going to use the example that they gave us earlier. I'm just going to say a starry night. Okay, if you look down here, you will see different dimensions. This, this, and this, there are three dimensions here. I'm going to stick with the square dimension in the middle here. You can put in any description here. You can put in literally anything. Okay, let me change that and say, a dog with a bone, okay. And then I'm going to say generate image. I'll tap on generate image and you can see it's generating my image here. It's running it's at 23%. So the image is coming to life. And this is our image. So this is a dog with a bone, right? So if I'm okay with this picture, I can tap on this tick sign down here to accept it, okay? So let's look at our fill. You can see four fills have been used. So I have 196 left. Okay, so I think I'm okay with this image and I'll just tap on this. Right, so it has brought me to step two where it says refine the story of your video. Your AI animation will start with this frame. Describe how you want frames to look in the caption. Be descriptive and feel free to add interesting artistic styles. Video in painting, you can color over backgrounds and objects to animate them or let Genmo animate the whole frame. So. If you watch what I'm doing, you will see that when I hover over the picture, a pencil icon shows up. Now I can select the parts of this picture that I want Genmo to animate, or I could leave the picture and allow Genmo to animate the whole frame, right? So just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to select a part that I want Genmo to animate. So I'll just paint over the part using the brush Paint over the part I want Genmo to animate. So I can just select um, the picture and not the background. Okay, so because when you're working on yours, you need to be a little bit more careful and take your time to get it done. Okay, so now this highlighted part is the part that Genmo will animate. Okay, but if I didn't select anything, Genmo will animate the whole frame. I hope that is clear. Now you can also reduce the size of your brush so that you can get those little tiny corners, right? So you can see my brush size, I've reduced it a little. Okay, so you can reduce the size of your brush to get those little corners. Okay, now let's Continue. So the caption one is a dog with a bone. Good. So if you see, look down, you'll see exclude where it says describe styles and objects to exclude. And this is optional. You can add captions to tell a story. You can tap here to add caption. And then you can customize your options here. So you can increase or decrease the length of this animation, but just bear it in mind that longer videos will use more fill. There's exploration and it says increase exploration for faster changing and more chaotic animations. So if you increase this, your animations are going to be more chaotic. So it, it, is, it all boils down to your preference at the end of the day. So I will, I will just leave it. And then the next is dynamism. Dynamism controls how fast content changes over time. Higher values can lead to more blood. Smoothness controls the smoothness of transitions, edit with instructions, seed, and then seamless video loop. So you can check this or uncheck it, okay? So I'm going to leave it checked. And then when you have customized your taste, 
simply tap on make video. Now the video has been submitted. All right. And it's generating the animation here. Watch this. You see where it's generating the animation. So we're going to wait for it to complete this generation. It's at 15%. Okay, the generation is complete. If you watch this video, you will see that the parts that I highlighted, I painted over with the brush, have been animated. If you look at it, you will see it looks like some parts of the dog are moving, the bone, the eyes, all right? And this is the part I brushed over earlier. Now, if I wanted Genmo to just animate the whole frame, I wouldn't brush over anything. I would leave the picture as it was. So if I'm okay with this, I will download. Now note that because I'm on a free plan, the general watermark is going to be on the video. If I don't want the general watermark, then I'm going to have to pay for a premium plan. So I can then download this. Just tap on download, right? And then I can download it and you will find it in your downloads folder on your device. Okay, so if I tap on it, all right, so the generation is complete, a dog with a bone. I can share this. Okay, I can tap on it to share. I can use, send it through one note. I can copy the link and share it with anybody I want to share it with, send it by mail or by Skype. All right, I can also download it here. I can make it private, I can mask, and there's a lot I can do here. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and I hope that you too at your spare time will try to check out the genmo.ai tool. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions whatsoever, please leave your questions in the comment section below. Like this video, subscribe to this channel and share this video with family and friends. See you in the next video.